Hello everybody and welcome to Super Bowl weekend of the 2017 NFL season. It's your host, Cody P, TBCC, and whatever. And before we begin, I want to make a side note. I wanted to say the new intro and the new outro as well, made by your very fantastic Burotic Buro, we know as Mr. Eddie Cypher Tejada. But I was excited for them, so I'm excited for both of the new ones and I just kind of wanted to show them. And it is Super Bowl Sunday, so I figured why not. But, anywho, um, we are wrapping up the season. What a, what a very interesting season. Very injury-riddled, very chaotic, very controversial. Virtual, words are hard. Very out of the blue and random. It really in this season of any, it really proved the Any Given Sunday thing to be a real legitimate thing. Because there was a lot of games where none of us expected to happen, and then there... A lot of us are also dealing with that transitional period, you know. Denver, who has been so high in money these last couple of years, is now falling down to lesser and lesser degrees. Same with Indy, now they used to rule their division every year. Now they can't even beat anyone, blah, blah, blah. And it's all just... All these teams that we knew are just disappearing. Uh, just imagine when the Patriots start sucking again. Like when Brady and Belichick finally retire. Whenever that is. It's going to be weird. It's going to be weird seeing them not win a lot of their games. It'll be happy for us, but it'll be weird. Alright. Um, last week I went one-on-ones and everything. Um, what can you expect? I... No one saw Philadelphia doing what they did to the Vikings. Like, some people predicted them to win, and you know that's legitimate. It's believable. I wasn't counting them out completely, but the fact that they did that, I didn't expect that. Which I guess goes to show home field advantage means a lot to certain teams, especially when you're unsure. Philadelphia has a defense, then again I guess, suppose everyone in the final four had a really good defense, allegedly. But what can you do? And yes, there's some controversy with the refs in the AFC championship game, but Hard to say. I personally did not like the P.I. call that they got. The Jags got early, n near the end of the first half. But whatever. It, it's, what can you do? You ha They had opportunities to put that game away, and they messed up. So, you can't blame them. Anywho, on to the predictions. Now, for this year, I'm just going to do a quick recap on how both teams got here and show you what happened. Alright, we'll start off with the AFC. The New England Patriots open the season as heavy favorites, predicted to go 16-0, predicted to be so badass that no one could stop them, yada, yada, yada. They get ramrodded by the Kansas City Chiefs in the Thursday night opener, making us all believe that Kansas City might actually be something, and Alex Smith has a possibility of turning the whole season around. Um, people started questioning Tom Brady yet again, and that's kind of what happens when you get to your old age and don't perform at a peak level. You just kind of fall off. You just kind of lose the respect of certain individuals, but whatever. Um, then, a couple games later, they lose to Carolina in Gillette, making Cam Newton 2-0 and now against Brady. But, yeah, and so they're 2-2 two two in the season, and they're having a lot of close games and a lot of shootouts with a lot of subpar teams. Deshaun Watson goes head-to-head -head with them, and they almost lose that one. Tampa Bay, despite three missed field goals, kept it close. And a lot of other teams, based on more or less controversy by certain referee and officiating, kept it interesting for certain opponents and made it somewhat difficult for them. But ultimately, they were able to drive along and get to a successful 13-3 record with their defense starting out kind of lame and really bad all the way up to improving to be one of the better defenses in the NFL. They got a first round bye and in the divisional round they went by Tennessee like they were absolutely nothing and then they beat Jacksonville in a really entertaining close game. Now they're here in Super Bowl 52. On to Philadelphia. Right y'all. Philadelphia started off with a loss at Kansas City, keeping it close. Carson Wentz looked like he had turned a corner and looked like he's improved and willing to lead his team. 
to uh, happiness and a good on March. Um, rookie kicker Jake Elliott nails a 61-yard field goal to help them win the game against the Giants, starting a string of good luck. They win a lot of close games, and then they beat a lot of good teams, including a Los Angeles Chargers team who started off slow but got better in the end, being a Carolina team who made the playoffs again. And then a couple of other interesting games that they blew out, like no big deal, winning by at least 20 in pretty much all their games. Then they go into Seattle and lose that game. I actually attended that game, so it was quite entertaining to see. And then in week 14, Carson Wentz tears his ACL in the game against the Rams, and he is named after the season. Nick Foles takes over and is able to lead this team into the playoffs where they are underdogs in both, in all playoff games. Upsetting the Atlanta Falcons with their defense stopping them on a fourth and goal drive. And then having hosting Minnesota in the NFC Championship game, where they blew the brakes off of them. And now we are here, at Super Bowl 52, where the Patriots are four and a half point favorites, and the total is 48. Two teams who have come far and along, Philadelphia is riding the hopes of an underdog miracle with the backup QB. And the Patriots are looking to capture their sixth ring, tying Brady and Belichick with the Pittsburgh franchise for most rings. Can you believe it? Brady, and Brady could potentially have more rings than every franchise, depending on how long he plays and how long he continues to play at a higher level. It's a really amazing thing. I know we like to hate Brady, and I hate him too. But sometimes you just got to stop and acknowledge that we probably aren't going to see stuff like this anytime soon. Like, I don't think we're ever going to see a team this dominant or always there in this situation. And whether or not you want to blame it on cheating or officiating, if you take a look at the last two Super Bowls they were in, they, they those were lost games. Like, they should have lost those games. But lo and behold, teams make mistakes, and next thing you know, they're champions. What can you do? And I know a lot of people are also, oh, we wanted a perennial QB matchup. We wanted this future Hall of Fame QB versus this future Hall of Fame QB. Well, you can't always get what you want. There's been a couple of Super Bowls as of recent that have been questionable QB matchups, but, you know, we've lived. We lived. Some of the better Super Bowls, more or less. I don't know, you tell me. You tell me you didn't like Eli Manning in the Super Bowl beating Brady twice. You tell me that. I don't know. It's your thing. Your your life. It's whatever. Um, this game is going to come down to essentially can Nick Foles do anything, which, I mean, against the Vikings defense, who is significantly better than the Patriots. All the Patriots are better coached. Um... You could see this probably being a decent high-scoring game, and Brady's going to score, regardless. So, it's all about how much you can score and how much you can adjust to him and adjust to Belichick, because second-half Patriots are unbeatable by most teams. Like, good luck stopping the Patriots in the second half, although there is a team that did stop them to advance to the Super Bowl. I wonder who it was. But that's that. And when it comes down to it all, it's it's hard to say. I know it's difficult to repeat these days, but what can you do? And as much as it goes against my I my feelings, it's I don't see it coming out any other way. I am predicting the Patriots to win the Super Bowl. And Outside of Super Bowl 51, every other Patriots Super Bowl that has had Tom Brady in it has been four points, three or four points decided. And the only reason that one was six is because of the overtime touchdown. What can you do? So I'm going to predict the score to be somewhere along the lines of like a 31-27 Pats victory. So you can take the Patriots straight up, the Eagles plus four and a half, and over the 48, and I'm going to give Super Bowl MVP to Brady, because that's probably how it's going to end up going.